on the day of treatment, I felt really nervous. I was more nervous uh, for the drive down to Gatwick than anything else. Um, but yeah, when I got there, got signed in, the receptionists were really, really nice. Waited at waiting room. Doctor came to collect me. I met the radiographer as well. Uh, he were he were really nice. So but both of them together really put you at ease. It took two attempts to swallow the balloon. I couldn't do it the first time I choked. Water everywhere. Um, but the second time it went down, no problems. Was x-rayed. That was fine. They filled up the balloon, x-rayed me again. Everything was fine. And then that were it. Tube were pulled out, sent home. It took 20 minutes. The longest part was the water draining out the, the bag into the balloon. And that took six minutes. It felt really cold. It didn't it were, it were a little bit uncomfortable, but it weren't painful or anything like that. It just felt really cold, like cold water being put down your throat. I couldn't feel it in. Um, I could just feel like the the string. That was the, the probably the only thing I could feel. Once it ran and inflated, nothing. Like, you know, when you get into your head a little bit and you think, well, I can feel it. But once I'd got my, I'd picked up my medication, got to the car and I'm going home, I couldn't feel, couldn't feel it. So on Friday, um, I started to feel a little bit ill on the way home. I started to feel sick. Um, and once I got home, then I went straight to bed and slept. On Saturday, I felt a little bit worse. I'd got stomach cramps, but once I started taking my medication and things like that, it did ease off. Um, I made sure that I drank plenty of water and followed all the rules and sort of advice that I were given. Um, and by Sunday evening, I started to feel a lot better. Like the cramps had like settled down a little bit and I didn't feel sick anymore, so... But the first couple of days, you feel a little bit rough. But then after that, it's fine. So at the start, for 24 hours, you've got to have water or clear fluids. Um, you can have packeted soups, but it, don't, it doesn't do anything. I just stuck to, I stuck to squash. Um, and then I started drinking yoghurt drinks. And they, they were really nice. After not eating anything, they were really nice. Um, then I sort of progressed then on to sort of like custard and mashed potato and that sort of thing. And then now I'm like scrambled eggs, I can have a uh, shepherd's pie, stuff that's like quite mushy. Yeah. So I'm for like for dinner today, I'm gonna have uh, potato and beans, which it tastes amazing, I can't wait. <laughs> On Friday, so a week after, I can start experimenting with solid foods. You've got to take it easy, don't make yourself sick, but yeah, you can start eating properly. I don't snap um, like I used to, like, Yesterday, I think I had uh, half a banana in the morning and then half a banana in the afternoon. And that were me going from like three chocolate bars or whatever to half a banana is a lot. But you don't feel, the only time I really feel hungry is when I'm ready for my dinner. Like that's when I know that I'm, I'm hungry. The only time you can really feel the balloon um, is if you sleep on your side. Uh, it can be a little bit uncomfortable, so you do have to sleep on your back. But aside from that, nothing. It just feels like normal. For the first couple of days, you f I, f I felt really tired and things like that because I think there were a lot of sugar to come out of my body. But now I feel a little bit more, like I feel getting up in the morning is hard and I feel a little bit more energetic and things and I'm looking forward to like exercising. Like it's not, oh God, it's like, yeah, come on, you can do this. So I feel a bit more, I feel a bit more positive as well, which is nice.